Welcome to Naresai Technologies. This is Ram Chandar. In the last video, I did talk about how the static data is going to be loading and initialized. So, there are two phases like static loading phase and static initialization phase. By using these two phases only, the static data is going to be loading and initialized. On top of this topic, I am going to be highlighting one program that is abja here. I am taking one notepad here taking one method class like a static data. If you want to execute the program we required we required a main method string array ram or r simply. Now, here I am writing like a system dot system dot out dot println no object here here I mention like a main method good let me save this one static data dot java all files on top of the desktop good so this is our class here static data dot java now let me add some other code here I am taking one variable the variable is a static int a equal to m1 method. Here, I am initialize the a variable with the help of what here m1 method return statement. Now, here I am writing one method static method static int m1 method. Here I am writing like a system dot out dot println m1 method. Okay. Here I am writing like one more system dot out dot printer line. Yes. Now, here here I am writing like a plus a after that I am return some value return triple one and also I am taking one uh, block this is what a static block here I am writing something like a system dot out dot out dot println static block 2. Now, the same static block I am using that is copy and here I am going to be pasting here. Yes, I am pasting here. Now, here static block 1. Please observe guys everybody. Now, first whenever we loading the dot class file from secondary memory to primary memory automatically first all the data is going to be loading all the static data is going to be what here loading so here observe let me write this program in one paint yes so in the static loading phase what happen first control goes to jvm control goes to first statement of a program what is the first statement of a program this one this is the first statement of a program from this program so in this statement jvm only concentrate on what uh, left side part of the equal operator so if the data is a variable jvm blindly provides some memory default memory like what uh, integer default value like uh, memory like 4 bytes in that 4 bytes default value is going to be placed like 0 after that control goes to where here next one what is the next one block we have heading will be read so if the in the loading phase if the data is a block jvm will read the heading heading of the block and place it into where here memory as well as if the data is a method jvm will read the heading and place it into the where here memory now let me take uh, for method i'm taking one different color yes heading will be read and placed into the memory after that what we have again what method heading will be read and placed into the memory after that what we have block heading will be read and placed into the memory so successfully all the loading phase is going to be completed so whatever the thing we seen up to now that is comes under what here loading phase in the first loading phase if the data is in the static loading phase if the data is a variable getting the default memory and fill it with what 0 and if the data is a block heading will be read 
and placed into the memory and data is method heading will be read and placed into the memory after successfully completion of the loading phase then control goes to where here initialization phase so in the initialization phase what happen default values will be replaced with what uh, original values do we have any original values no what is there uh, we have method calling statement we have method calling statement i am calling the method we are calling the method so automatically control coming to where m1 method now what happen m1 method will be executed so what type of output are we going to be getting the output is first m1 method after that what a value what is the default value zero after that what happen again this triple one is going to be placed into this triple one is going to be placed into where here a simply here i'm writing like one more color i'm taking for more clarity purpose so here uh, yes yeah now what happened this triple one is going to be placed into where here m1 nothing but m1 is replaced with m1 method calling statement will be replaced with what here triple one and finally the triple one is going to be placed into where here here nothing but zero will be nothing but what guys zero will be replaced with original value what is the original value here triple one now after that again control goes to where here static block in the static initialization phase the data is a block what happen jvm will executing the static blocks jvm will executing what here static block so here output what we are getting static block 2 static block 2 now after that control goes to main method so in the static loading initialization phase main method is not going to be executed again control goes to where here m1 method then what happen m1 method is also not uh, executed but previously executed na yes previously executed the reason is we did call the method if you are not calling the any method no method will be executing automatically if you want to call it we need to if you want to execute we need to call it now if you want to execute the m1 method previously i am calling now i am not calling just jvm flow is going to where m1 method so here m1 method not going to be executed after that what we have static block we have so automatically static block is going to be executed static block 1 after successfully completion of the after successfully completion of the loading phase and initialization phase then jvm control goes to where main method jvm control goes to main method again control come back to the main method and main method is going to be executed this is the way uh, entire static data is going to be loading as well as what here initialized is going to be loading as well as what uh, initialized now in the next video i'm going to be talk about if you are doing any modification on top of the static data what happen is it really uh, affected to the other objects for example one object for example i have one variable like int a equal to triple one so i am creating two objects if one object is doing the modification on static data then what happen in entire project that we will see in the next video i hope you enjoyed this video for more videos please subscribe narayshetty channel thank you